Somebody backstage just hugged me so hard. I don't need a mammogram this year. <laughs> so Montreal, it's Saturday night. I know it's Saturday because that's what it said on my pill caddy. <laughs> I love Montreal. I didn't know what to wear to Just for Laughs. It's one of the most important nights of my life. Uh, my mom asked me why I always dress like a mime. <laughs> and I'm like, So I was here a couple of years ago, and since then I've gotten very spiritual, because uh, the material thing didn't work out like I had planned. <laughs> and I've become vegan uh, between meals. I'm very... Um, <laughs> not quite there yet. I've been eating healthier, though, and I have to say, when I eat healthier, I feel so much hungrier. And... <laughs> weaker and more deprived and a little gassy. But I, um, now that I'm in my 50s, I find that I gain weight just by looking at a cake that I'm finishing. I'm very, um, I lost two pounds recently though, mostly bone loss, I don't care. I, I'm gonna get back to my high school weight. I was a cheerleader in high school, yeah. I wasn't on the team. Um, I was just really positive about everything. I know I should work out to lose weight, right? So I got one of these Fitbits to motivate myself. You know, that bracelet that logs how many steps you take and it sends it to your computer. But it always made me feel guilty and anxious and self-loathing. It was kind of like wearing my mother. Um, but I lost my Fitbit, yeah. But it was still racking up points like 260,000 every day. I'm like, some Olympian found my Fitbit. <laughs> and then I found it in the dryer. <laughs> I don't have time to work out. A typical day for me, I wake up, and it's hard to wake me up because I'm a deep sleeper. And I, like, I once slept through an earthquake uh, and college. And... <laughs> So I wake up, I check Twitter and Facebook, um, and then I eat dinner, and some of you are on that page. <laughs> and then I'm up all night, because I'm an insomniac. Other insomniacs here may be too tired to raise your hand. I see a few of you, yeah. I'm not a warrior, I wonder things. I lie in bed and wonder things like, um, what is Adele's last name? How does somebody know that they're going to be good at the luge? <laughs> and why does my raincoat say dry clean only? <laughs> Sometimes I watch TV and I order things off of the TV. Do you do that? Like I've ordered a juicer, yeah? And a spin spa, and a shake weight, and a magic bullet, and an abra and a zoo towel, and a slap chop, and a drop stop, and a Brazilian butt lift, and a chia pet, and a sham wow, and another juicer. Anybody else? <laughs> and then sometimes I watch the cooking shows, and I don't know how to cook. Like, even my dog's like, I'm eating out tonight. <laughs> my husband's like, why do you bother watching the cooking shows? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm fascinated. Um, I might learn something. You never know, you know? I also watch all the true crime shows, honey. <laughs> <laughs> People give me books to read in the middle of the night. Like, somebody gave me that book, um, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. My housekeeper gave that to me. <laughs> um, no, I'm my housekeeper, but a friend gave it to me. And if you haven't read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, I'm going to save you the money. Basically, it says, get rid of everything in your home that doesn't bring you joy. So I threw the book away. <laughs> <laughs> then somebody gave me that book, Fifty Shades of Grey. I know, right? I haven't read that, because I'm... Um, it's about kinky sex, right? And I'm not into reading. So, 
the, the kinkiest thing I do, my husband and I sext each other. We send each other pictures to turn each other on. Like, I will send my husband a picture of me returning clothes. And... <laughs> He will send me a picture of him emptying the dishwasher. <laughs> but I've never done anything really, like I've never been tied up. I, I've been stood up uh, by a guy who said he was tied up. <laughs> but one time, one time my husband asked me to dress up for him Woo, as a nurse. Yeah, because that was his fantasy, you know, that we had health coverage. We couldn't get health coverage because both my husband and I have pre-existing conditions. You know, we are people. And <laughs> who doesn't have something, right? Like sciatica, psoriasis, arthritis. I have bad vision. I'm almost blind. Yeah, like even my hindsight isn't 2020. <laughs> and my husband suffers from migraines and it's terrible, but I use it when I'm not in the mood. I'm like, not tonight, honey. <laughs> You have a headache. <laughs> the last time my husband and I made love, I thought it would be really funny if afterwards I put my glasses on and said, oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't him. <laughs> Thank you very much, Montreal. Thank you.